y'all could understand the drama I have had today with this look. Like, I don't even like the video, but I'm going to post it. Anyway, hey, Sue Chris here. Thank you for joining me today on All These Things TV. If this is your first time here, hey, nice to see you. And if it's not, hey, girlfriends, good to see you again. So, la 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 First things first, I do not claim to be a makeup guru. I'm not. I just really like being creative. I done bought all this makeup over time. And it's like, I'll be doggone if I'm not going to use it. So, um, with fall and everything coming around, people have been going crazy with the whole pumpkin spice latte thing. I done seen pumpkin spice latte kid litter. I done seen pumpkin spice. Y'all, I have seen pumpkin spice latte ravioli. For what? Marshmallow, uh, cookies. Like, it's just... People are going crazy about it. So I was like, I might as well join the bandwagon, hop on the bandwagon and be a part of it. And I went ahead and created a challenge for all the women that aren't necessarily gurus, but just like to look pretty. You know what I'm saying? I don't expect to create a lot of these videos, but I am. I might have one every quarter or so, like every season change, I might do one. Uh, so this season, we're doing the pumpkin spice latte look challenge. So, you know, Starbucks has this pumpkin spice latte and it's spicy and orange and just fall. Anything that inspired you in the fall, I asked and challenged all the women on Facebook that I follow and I am a part, you know, I'm friends with to create a look. And that's exactly what I did in this video. I'm going to tell you now, I apologize for the blurriness. I was bumping a lot on my desk, so it was blurring in and out. One of the girls who participated asked me to recreate it because I did create it on Facebook Live. It ended up uh, not being posted for copyright issues. So I was playing music in the background and kicking it. So this look, um, even though I did create it, I did have a lot of suggestions from my girls on Facebook Live. So thank you guys again. I and mean, this is my official pumpkin spice latte look. I have a, a little bit of spicy yellow and some spicy orange uh, rose gold with the green for the Starbucks cup. I just thought that was genius. Also, at the end of this video, I'm going to uh, post the pictures of the girls who did already partake and accept the pumpkin spice latte look challenge if you are interested in joining this pumpkin spice latte look go ahead and post your pictures share them share your tutorials and just hashtag PSL look or pumpkin spice latte look and um, I'm looking forward to seeing you guys' uh, looks I also have a uh, Facebook album that I'm adding all the you ladies pictures in because it's good to just look beautiful we don't have to be gurus out here and I just wanted to find a way to make us look beautiful and to create a community so without any further ado I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial um, and I hope you would join us in the pumpkin spice latte look challenge uh, other than that I hope you guys have a good one and we'll see you next time okay let's get into it shall we so I am going in with one of my favorite type of products which is the elf under eye illuminator cream and then I'm gonna go in with the daily moisturizer as well but I want to talk to you guys about elf products uh, the one reason I really like elf is because it's affordable it's light it's hydrating and then when you order their really affordable products they also add extra uh, stuff just because you buy stuff like I have bought so many things and gotten extra things just for buying stuff from elf so I would really suggest you guys check it out Another brand that I'm really super excited about is the Black Radiance brand. It's for a brand for women of color. And this is the True Complexion Refining Skin Primer. And this is actually my first primer that is like a solid that went on my skin. I found them randomly at Walmart and all of their products are under $6. Okay, now I'm going in with my Shadow Lock Primer from e.l.f. I told y'all I am an e.l.f. fan. This is one of my favorite primers next to the Urban Decay. I'm just rubbing that in here. Okay, so here's this dingy brown that I've been having from forever from this Ulta kit that my mom got me a couple of Christmases ago. And I'm just going in in my crease and then I'm going to use a BH blending brush to blend that out right quick. Here comes the fun stuff. This is my BH 88 shimmer palette and I'm going to use this golden spicy yellow and uh, wet my brush with this setting spray and go in in my inner corners for this golden spicy yellow look. So like I said, I'm pretty new to this makeup thing, so I'm using my BH Cosmetics Wild and Alluring Palette, and I'm going to go in with this really dusky, dark type rose gold shimmer, and I'm putting that in the middle, and I'm going to blend those two colors together here. I was trying with all my might to not panic, but I literally got all that powder in my eye. Jesus. 
Okay, so I'm going back in with my Ulta kit here in this espresso brown and I'm just darkening my crease and blending that out here just to add a little darkness to my corner and smoke everything out. I also went in with my concealer just to make sure that I had my wing together. I went in with my Black Radiance concealer and just blended it so that it was a little bit cleaner. You better blend them colors, honey. Blend them, blend them colors, honey, blend them. Okay, going in with my flat liner brush and not the palette here, but I'm actually gonna use my MAC 120 color palette in this bright type green for the Starbucks on my bottom lid, on the lower lid here to blend it out. Yay, for Starbucks green. Then I go back in with the BH88 shimmer palette and add an extra, just an extra pop to heighten that green color. Now I'm priming my lashes with the e.l.f. eyelash primer and I'm going in for the liner in e.l.f. in all black. And this is when I knew I messed up, but I kept going and I was like, okay, I'm just gonna have to figure, this is how y'all know I'm not a guru, man. I messed up and I was like, I'm gonna have to figure out what I'm doing. Like, oh my God, like, <laughs> it's so bad. But I made it work and the line turned out pretty well. So I wasn't tripping too, too bad. I fixed it. That moment you see it coming together, yeah. Okay, so when it comes to mascaras, I usually use two or three. This is the Black Radiance Relentless Volume that I just got. It's really good. Then I go in with the e.l.f. Mineral uh, Mascara as well. And then I check myself out. Yes, girl. Yes. Get your life. And go back in with the X-Rated by Smashbox just to finish it out because I don't wear falsies. And then I skipped over my eyebrows completely because y'all didn't want to see that. It was a disaster. I sprayed my eyelids, skipped over them because I literally hate my eyebrows. I hate them. I need some help. Okay, girlfriend, we almost done. So I'm going in with the Black Radiance BB Cream. I don't really use any foundations because I don't have a lot of blemishes and I don't need a lot of coverage. I just want to create a smoothness on my face. So I'm going in with the BB Cream and a foundation brush, just rubbing all that goodness in here. For some reason, I like to think I have dark circles, so I color correct with this yellow, wet, and wild coverall. I use the yellow, and I just use that under my eyes because I'm crazy and I think I have dark circles. So I'm finna blend that in, finna get this beauty blender, wetting it all up, and dab, 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 hey, dab, 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 hey. Now it's actually, oh my bad, I'm still dancing. Hold on. Okay. Now it's actually time for concealer, and I'm going in with e.l.f. concealer in medium, and then I'm going to put black radiance concealer in light to medium on top of that because I like to blend two concealers together. And then again, dab, 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 hey. And don't we make such beautiful faces when we blend and that stuff? Girl, look like a grandma. Come out. Okay, now it's time to sit and bake under my eyes and under the highlight area. Under, under, honey. So I'm putting this under my eyes with the Bella Pierre banana powder here. And then I'm going to go in with my bronzer and contour uh, on my forehead. And then in the hollows of my cheeks. That's a pretty face too, honey. Yes, those are pretty faces. So pretty. So after I do that, I'm going to, of course, come in with a highlighter. And then I'm, if y'all don't notice, my highlight is hella lopsided. But that's okay. So then I'm going in with the um, ColourPop Ultra Matte Lippy in Avenue. Super cute. And after I finish the Avenue, I'm going to put a little metallic lip on top, and that is also ColourPop in Flitter. After I feel like I have baked enough, I'm going ahead and blend all my highlight and my setting underneath my eyes here. Uh, and I think I did pretty good on the contour. Hey! And I'm going in with the uh, Black Radiance Finishing Powder and Soft Focus in the color Golden Almond just to blend all my highlighting contour together so there's not any harsh lines or anything. So the rest of this goes pretty fast. This is my e.l.f. blush in the quad dark with this brown. I'm just going to put that on the apples of my cheeks here. And then I'm going to go in with my highlighter from the Wild and Alluring BH Cosmetics in this rose gold color here. My nose, bow of my lip, my eyebrows. And although it's not seen on camera, I went ahead and went in with the Illuminating Setting Spray and Mist from e.l.f., which is also really good. I'm going to put all of the things in the description below. And thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. Now it is time for all the beautiful ladies that have also taken part of the Pumpkin Spice Latte Challenge. If you want to be a part of it, just hashtag Pumpkin Spice Latte Look. And we'll see you next time.
So this video and challenge is dedicated to Brittany. She is a makeup artist up and coming and I was really inspired by her and she's the reason for the pumpkin spice latte challenge. You're beautiful, you're amazing, God loves you and I do too. Until next time guys, bye!